So today I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a 3D, um, a 3D game on Scratch. Actually not 3D, 2D. So when you start, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to make a playlist and you can watch it, all of it, to have a 2D game. It's pretty fun. Yeah. So we'll, when you have Scratch the Cat, just delete them. Um, get to the paint tool, just tap with it, then get it, change it to the black, yep, go. So, when you have it, all you have to remember to call it, not Sprite 1, what's Sprite 1? Call it, luck. Okay, we've all got ready up, so. When you start get one flag is clicked, then you already know how to make it move. Go into the extensions and we're gonna use the pen. Pen pen pen. It's rainbow. Yeah. So when you start pen down, that means your pen is down. Yeah. So you get an object in your house, yep, and then put it down. That means it's drawn. But if it's up, it does not. So, put pen down when it starts. Set the color to black. And you can set the um, size to whatever. I'll say like 10. So, then you have a dot that just got painted. What you really want it to be is get change x by and then that's wh when you figure out how big it is i would say like 70 actually no 50 i want yep and then duplicate that wait no you don't duplicate change y by 50 and then changing x in by 50 and y by 50 watch it makes half a cube so what you need to do is duplicate it again, but do minus because you don't want a random star looking thing. You want a real game. So then when you have this, when you copied it, it's gonna look like this. But if it's like being really weird, that. If you put it in a fill ever loop, don't do that. Yep, so when you've done that, start on making a backdrop for the level. <coughs> so, when you start at the backdrop, you can do whatever you want. Just don't have a fill in. It's your choice if it has a fill in, but I don't want it to want fill in. So. The fill could be anything. Yep. So, once you've got your thing, once you've got your background, I'm just being a slow poke. Sorry. Yep. So once you've got your background, um, you can just start with a grey background or you can have like a bit of structure, but I'm going to start like here. So go back to block or you can actually do this. Do it forever and then wait a bunch of seconds. Wait, no, don't do that. Wait, yeah, do that in a forever loop. Then make a sprite called block die rep. 
Enter. Yep, once you've got your block director, just do the same thing. You can do a whatever color you want. Yeah. So, once you've got your dot, this is where you got it. The dot is going to go... So, this is what the dot is. For when flags clicks, forever, get a forever loop, if a arrow key is press, pressed. Um, let's say, right, that means it's going to move, right? So, you actually need to do it by blocks position, so... <coughs> <coughs> So change it by the change it by right change it by x because you already know your left where right is. Yep. So change x by ten is moving right, and change x by minus. Oh, I need to plug in my PC. By um, moving right, that's where we want the character to go. To go. So do fit by 50, and then duplicate that. Left. So, and then go back to the block, and go to block direct. Okay, then you can see it's forever go to block director I forgot see it makes it but then you need to erase it immediately because you don't want like a and like a bridge so let's say you did that it's not gonna make any but only if you put one it's gonna make stuff so how to fix this? First, you need to actually do this. Wait, zero point zero one seconds. And erase. You will see it's kind of a game. It's not laggy. In fact, do. So when you start it, it's going to be kind of like interesting to see like how weird it is. Yep, so you want to change it to 0 0.01. I'll change it to like 0 0.1. Let's see how that is. Oh, that's a really laggy. You can still move correctly, but if we don't do that, it's going to be really bad. So, to fix that, just, if you really don't like um, the idea I had, okay, that's how when you need to make a block, a real block, yeah. If you want to do the pen way, I know there's a tutorial out there, but I'm not doing that, so... Let's get into the thing we are doing. So, make a 50 by 50. Um, wait, that's long. Copy, paste. <coughs> oh no, I was not using a brain. Why didn't I just. Yeah. So. Once you've got your cube, you'll want to. So when you've made that line, you can actually make it to green. To make it to green, 
it's just going to be a line. Yep, and the middle is going to be a center, the center. Go and paint a blob. That makes sure it's in the center. Zoom in a lot. Then, look, it looks like you're actually playing the game. Good. Now, wait, what? Why is... Oh, yeah. If you change it by that, it's going to do a cube. <coughs> Do I correct me? You don't uh, even need pen for this. Just go to the pen director. And that's good. Make sure to erase it. Just erase it. And also, if you want to stop it, just do pen up. Done. Done. Then you have your game. Yeah. Let's make some things. This is the first element. So if, oh yeah, in in the description, there's gonna be um, the page of the game. I mean, yeah. So. When go to block director, then if oh yeah, you need it if else, not really. Oh yeah, if you um oh yeah, my next video is gonna be me making a game um, without any variables, and I know what I'm gonna do. So make a game called make a um variable called life. Then, if <coughs> <coughs> touching color that, then change life by minus one. And then, when flags clicked, set life to three. And then put a um, wait a second. Yep. Yeah. Then if oh yeah, this is a life, so you can play the game. If life equals zero, then. Receive a. Oh, yeah, this is all in. Oh, yeah. When flags clicked, broad, make a broadcast called Start and Game Over. Yeah. So. When flags clicked, stop. Then when I receive start, then put the old stuff we had in there. Then make a new variable, and this one is gonna be a gamer screen. So. Make sure to cover the entire screen with black. Then hide it for now so nobody can see it. No. And then get the text. Make it white, whatever you would like. To make the more scarier, do curly. Okay. Game. Oh. Uh, Good. Oh no, not like that. Yeah, so. 
you don't need to worry of calling it whatever. So remember, if you um thought like ah oh, one flags click hide um when I receive game in a show, I can show you a better way. So when you start, set the ghost effect to a hundred. That's max. And now you can check. See? Yeah, sure. Sure. But then if it receives game over, change it by um, 20. <coughs> five and um, four times. Repeat it four times. Okay. See. I died. I died. I died. Okay. Why does that not work? Maybe because of life thing? Maybe a short amount of time. Okay. Oh. You don't need to do life equals if life is lower than zero game over. So it's dead so it's not working if you don't know what why it isn't just do clear graphics of it done or you if you want it to be more specific do one good now if you want a, oh yeah. Now if you want a jump in the game, this is what you need to do first. If, okay, let's just get the path that we're not using. Or you could just, um, and if you can do space or the up arrow, I am normally using the up arrow. <coughs> Change it by 50. You would normally be like, what? It didn't go. It, just See, it already jumps. So when you're walking, you can jump. But it's pretty um, bad, the game I like. So, go back to the um, thing. Make it more easier for the first level. Like, probably just do one line. And put it pretty low. And put them over. Yep. So if you make that improvement, it's going to be more fun. Oh yeah, go to the block. When I receive start. Um, go to when it's Four eleven. Done that. Now, now if you want to have a fun game, look, it goes no, jump, jump, and to be real, if you want some sounds, use some sounds. Yes, so I'm gonna record some sounds. Jump. Jump. Actually, no. I'm gonna just choose some sounds. So choose some sounds you like. Um, you can just go and do into the ship, find a jump. It sounds really annoying. Like, what is boing? Oh, that's boing. And really like that. Oh, what? 
wrong. That was annoying. So let's put a cooldown. Uh, Alright. 